All right, Chef Nicole Brera from Cactus Jacks and T Bones is in the News 9 Kitchen. We're making a heart healthy meal, and we should let everyone know that you are on the board for the Go Red for Women luncheon, which takes place next Thursday. Our Amy Cavino is going to be emceeing that event, and this is a lovely dish that you can make with your kids, right? Yes, super fun. Um, our event is October 15th, as you said, and it's a really, really cool luncheon. Um, it's about 11 o'clock until about 1 30 ish. Uh, Kelly McFarlane is our guest speaker. She's hilarious. It's going to be a great time. I'm going to be doing some chef demos, um, really just beautiful set up tables, and just a really fun event. Um, really great way to get everybody educated, the women and the men in your life, on something that's very important. Um, if folks don't know, heart disease is the number one killer of women, uh, with stroke being number five. So just a really great event to come out, learn, um, get educated, get a little inspired, get some great information, and a um, great way to learn how to live a little bit healthier so we can live a little bit longer. Right, right. and we're all about living healthier these days, and uh, this is something that's an easy casserole to make. You say you can whip it together very easily. Totally. Great idea for, you know, Busy school night, um, busy moms and dads. So all we did was we had some sautéed chicken. You can use like a rotisserie chicken or a lean pork or any really lean beef that you have. It's kind of like a chicken cheesy taco bake. Uh, we had some stewed tomatoes, low sodium, some the chicken, as I said, some nice corn in there. These are frozen peppers and onions. Again, just a quick shortcut. You could totally use fresh if you wanted. And this is cream of mushroom soup. You can use cream of chicken or anything like that, as long as it's low sodium, because we want to make sure that we're taking care of our hearts first. You just mix it all up in this bowl. This is chili powder. And here's a great tip. Um, chili powder or your herbs or any of your herbs and spices at home, you want to make sure in the grocery store that you're buying whole herbs and spices and that they're not mixed with any fillers or sodium. That's kind of a sneaky way that uh, sodium can creep into your diet. So, How do you make sure? Just flip the bottle over and it should say chili powder as the only ingredient. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it'll say kind of funky words or ingredients that you're like, hmm, not sure what this is. Just look at a different brand and you'll find a whole spice for sure. So mix this up real quick and you can do this, you know, before you head out for work so that it's nice and marinated and has a really great flavor and then build the, the dip um, right when you get home. And you can just pop it in the oven when you get home. That exactly. makes it easy. Exactly. Right. So all we do, we also have some nice tortillas here. We're going to layer this in a couple layers. You can do two, three. Whatever so one you're layer and then some cheese. Yep, you just ah. kind of spread it out here. Okay. Layer it with the tortilla strips. And we do have it finished up here, and I love the uh, the heart that you put on, <laughs> on top. Again, the Go Red for Women luncheon takes place next Thursday, and if you want more information on it, you can go to uh, manchestergoRed.heart.org for more information. But this is wonderful, and so you layer it with the tortillas yep, as well. Yeah, just go ahead and layer it. All right. And then you top it with a final layer of the tortillas and some cheese, and bake it about. 350 for about 30 minutes and you got yourself a great meal that the kids will totally love. Wonderful. We'll be right back. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank we you. appreciate it.